The reappearance of a missing Denver businessman tops our news at noon. I'm Alan Janae. Stacy Van Toll went missing Wednesday morning after he went to open his restaurant at 44th and Lowell. Our Jamie Leary is covering Colorado first for you in Denver right now. And so he's found now, Jamie. Tell me what you're hearing from the family. It's a it's an incredible story, Alan. The 44-year-old was found by an acquaintance who recognized his face, and we spoke with his brother or his sister and his best friend right after they got the news around 10 o'clock this morning. Before this morning, the circumstances surrounding his disappearance led his family to think worst-case scenario. Because he disappeared without a trace. Yeah. Exactly. He left everything behind. Exactly, and that's not my brother. Yeah. You know, I know something was wrong you know he wouldn't have just walked away so again he, he's gonna need you know we're gonna need to follow up in the hospital and whatever and see what's going on with him and yeah. um thank you everyone yeah. from everyone. the bottom of my uh, heart thank you everybody yeah. As soon as Stacy was found, he was evaluated by Denver police. They told me that was a precautionary thing and he was deemed to be okay, but his family still has a lot of questions. The morning that Stacy disappeared, his sister said there was a text he had typed out but never sent. He stated that he was going into the alley to investigate a noise. He thought somebody could be messing around in the dumpster. His sister said inside she saw more signs something was terribly wrong. Blood smears in the kitchen, Stacy's keys, wallet, and cell phone had been left behind, and meat was left sitting out ready to be smoked. Well, none of these things still add up to Stacy's family. They're just glad that he's alive and okay. His two teenage boys now have a father alive and well. They are taking him to the hospital to evaluate him to see what have, could have gone wrong. And Denver police tell me they don't have much more information than that. They're still conducting the investigation. Live in Denver, Jamie Leary, CBS 4 News. Well, we're glad he's all right, nevertheless. Jamie, thanks very much for that news.